This here is the wing of our new kit, the Balsa Basics Pioneer, which is yet to be released. We're currently working on it at the moment. Today I was building this and thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how to put one of these wings together with our techniques used on the Balsa Basics kits. The techniques are a bit different to traditional balsa wood building techniques in that you don't need a plan or a building board to make the model. You just need a flat table like this one. Essentially, all you need to do is pop out these pieces on the balsa wood sheets and the plywood sheets that you get in the kit and then start jigging them together like a big Lego kit. So here are three of my top tips for building one of our Balsa Basics planes if you're a complete beginner so that you can make the best job of your new kit. Number one, quite important, is to use a craft knife uh, to get all of your pieces popped out of the carrier sheets. Now these carrier sheets you can pop out the pieces like this with your fingers and that's quite easy especially on some of the larger parts like this uh, horizontal stabilizer and because it's made of 1 8 or 3 mil balsa wood um, it didn't break when I was popping it out but if you were to try and do that on some of the thinner pieces like the wing ribs um, there's a great big sheet of them right here um, you might run the risk of uh, snapping some of these thinner sections where the lines of the laser cutter are close together. So yes, you really want to be using one of these craft knives to mitigate that risk of snapping some parts because you don't really want to be gluing these wing ribs together if they break uh, because that would uh, potentially compromise the strength somewhat. Number two, what is number two? I've forgotten. Uh, <laughs> number two is uh, use the right glues. Now we will be doing a video all on this subject of choosing the right glue for your model kit. But um, yes, with this model kit in particular, you self jig the wing together or self jig the whole aeroplane together really. The, the tabs and slots hold the airframe together before you add the glue. And that means that you can use fast setting, very thin and runny uh, super glues like this Rocket Hot to secure the parts permanently once they've been slotted and fitted together. This stuff only takes five seconds to set um, and you can see that most of it Will evaporate you'll actually see the sort of the, almost smoke i guess the vapors uh coming off the the model once you put once you've blobbed them onto the joints um so it's really lightweight stuff as well as being extremely strong and it's brilliant for building kits like this one this glue here is a more sort of conventional super glue well it's the same stuff but it's a bit more viscous so this is great for joints uh for running it into the seams and this is great for uh yeah, everything else really. And if you're wondering, you can get these glues from our website, of course, um, along with all of our kits. Tip number three is that you need to sand your model before you go about covering it. Now, this is very important because you don't want the covering to be disturbed by little imperfections or bumps from these tabs here. And you want the skeletal wing itself to be as smooth as possible with the leading and trailing edges. So you can round those off with the sandpaper. We have done a full video on this subject. So maybe it's best if you go and watch that after this video. That will go into sort of making a sanding block and uh, not just using your hands like I'm showing here. Um, Lots of people have told me before I should be using sanding blocks and I would say the same, um, just sometimes I can't be bothered. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sanding blocks are really useful actually though because uh, if you're sanding the leading edge or something you can get it all very uniform and not going all over the place in sort of waves. Right, that was about it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, watch some more of our tips and tricks and whatever videos uh, down below. There's some suggested probably down here. And if you're interested in this kit or other kits that we're making, then please do sign up to our newsletter so that you'll be the first to know as soon as it's released. We just send one newsletter a week on Fridays and it usually has uh, community builds as well as uh, more tips and tricks and offers on our products. So yeah, check it out and we'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.